Honorable Union Minister of State for Agriculture and Farmers, Government of India, and our esteemed colleague in the Lok Sabha, respected Shobhaji, our dynamic Sports and Youth Affairs Minister, Government of Karnataka, Dr. K.C. Narayan Gaudaji, and on whose invite I have actually come here, a very dear friend and Honorable MLA, K. Raghupati Bhatji, dignitaries on the dais, coaches, faculty members, my dear sports persons, ladies and gentlemen and friends from media. Let me first thank Shri Raghupati Bhatji and Shobhati for inviting me here and Narayan Gaudaji also to invite here and to inaugurate this sports science center. Let me first give my congratulations and thank to Shri Narayan Gaudaji for giving us this center. On behalf of all of you, let us thank Mr. Narayan Gouda and the state government for giving us this center. And it's good to see the state governments doing well in the field of sports. Basically, sports is a state subject. And good to see last year also, when we sanctioned the Kelo India University Games to Karnataka. There were many, many state governments who were keen to do it, but Karnataka's presentation and initiative actually led to that. And it was one of the finest such tournaments being organized by any state government. <laughs> Naranji, congratulations for that, for hosting the Kelo India University Games. Wherever I go in the country, when I talk to the players, they had great memories about Kelo India University's game held in Karnataka and Bangalore. Tomorrow, the entire country celebrates. So what's common between a ninja warrior, an F1 driver, the kick-ass forces, and some motorcycle riders? Balaklava. Balaklava plays an important role in providing both comfort. The birthday of our former Prime Minister Shri Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji and also the entire world celebrates the Christmas festival. So please accept my season's greetings. Merry Christmas to you all. And on the eve of Christmas, this is a gift to you from Raghupati Bhatji, from Shobhaji and Dr. K.C. Narayan Gauda ji, especially to the young athletes why sports science center because sports science has entered the indian sporting ecosystem and already creating a transform transformative revolutionary result at the champions we needed it for a long time but in the past few years the government of India and various state governments have actually started working on this. Friends, sports today is no longer viewed the same way as it was seen in the last decade or so. In today's time, with the kind of development Indian medical science has made with biomedical research and development, high quality clinical care and public health studies and interventions, the whole approach towards Training in sports has changed drastically. Today we are not just building and training our athletes to compete. We are exploring the possibility of turning them into high performance athletes at par with the world's best athletes. Sports science is playing a huge role there. I firmly believe the incorporation of sports science and sports performance analysis is becoming important to assess an athlete's real potential, which can go a long way towards improving India's overall performance in international competitions. In recent times, the, this advancement has been aiming
to help our athletes to better their game from beginners to the best on the ground. Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji has always exhorted to make India a sporting powerhouse and reiterated a direct relationship between a country's success and its excellence in sports. This is the soft power for India, whether it is cinema or sports, it cut across religion, caste, creed, it cuts, cut across the boundaries and your talent can bring laurels to the country whether on the Indian soil or abroad. In our quest for achieving the same, the government has been supporting high-level research education and innovation in respect of the high performance of our athlete athletes. Various sports center of excellence have been launched under the Khelo India project. There has been an inclusion of many sports scientists under the sports staff at these national center of excellence as well. In fact, I would like to congratulate and applaud the sports department of the state for taking big steps in the similar direction and this is one of those steps where they have introduced this sports science center at Udupi. The inauguration of sports science center here in Udupi today is commendable effort and a major step in providing the best facilities to our athletes as well as building a sports culture in the country. I am informed the center aims to take sports science to all talukas of Udupi, Uttar Kannada and Dakshin Kannada using mobile vehicles and center of excellence headquartered at Udupi. Over the years, Karnataka has seen its athletes' performance, athletes' participation and perform and win medals for the country in prestigious international sports competitions like the Olympics, World Championships, Asian Games and Commonwealth Games. When other speakers were speaking, while during the speak they said, many of you have participated in the Kelo India Games and won the medals. My heartfelt congratulations to you all for participating and winning the medals as well. <laughs> winning or losing is part of game. That will happen. But participation is the key. So without taking much pressure, give your best. Sweat as much as you can on the field. Focus. That is also very important. Because sheer hard work will not only help. There has to be mental toughness. There has to be strategy in place. There has to be teamwork from game to game. It's in the individual games also today. If you don't have the right people around you, then you also lose that time. So my best wishes to all the athletes who are sitting here waiting and listening to all of us for last one and a half hour at times it looks like politicians are coming and speaking but we are speaking for your good bringing the good facilities to you so that you should utilize this your parents have high hopes on you my request to the parents is don't put too much pressure on your children while i travel across the country i see while children are playing in the ground, they keep sitting on the stairs and looking at the children telling, do this, do that. It is not your job, it is the coach's job to do that. Aapko nahi kehna, coach ko batana hai kya karna hai. And sometimes when the children go back home, they say, achcha, aaj tumne shot aisa nahi khela, isko aise khelna tha. Rebe, agar aapko hi batana tha, to coach ki jarurat kya thi? And that's what we see in cricket. If you go to any pan bidi shop or tea shop or any other restaurant, you will find many people saying, ah, Virat ne galat shot khila, jaise nahi aise khilna chahiye tha. So sometimes the popularity of the games also take you there where everyone is so involved in the game. It is not only cricket today, but if you look at the kabaddi also, the homegrown game, which has become so popular across the country, pro kabaddi players and all that, they are also doing extremely well and they are also being paid crores of rupees by their franchisee owners. So things are changing fast, changing for the good and I will just say this is the hard work of the central government and the state governments. As a team we are working, whether it is the BJP government or the non-BJP government, doesn't matter. We are working for the benefit of the players, for the upliftment of sports. 
and all i can say is this kind of contribution from the central government will will continue when modi government came into power at that time the annual budget of the central government for the ministry of youth affairs and sports was 864 crore rupees which has been raised to 3100 crore rupees this year so there is drastic improvement over a period of 8 years in the year 2014 the ongoing sports project at that time was to 630 crore rupees as of today there are 2700 crore rupees sports infrastructure projects which are going on across the country so kahan 600 crore rupya kharch hota tha aaj 2700 crore rupya kharch hota hai aur yahi nahi we have introduced the khelo india program for the next 5 years there is a sanction of 3136 crore rupees for the khelo india program by the modi government for khelo india youth games khelo india university games khelo india infrastructure and yesterday for your benefit i would like to tell you we have launched the khelo india dashboard also to benefit the sports person their parents coaches and everyone a common citizen also can go online and can see search on the khelo india dashboard you will find more than 17000 such ground small and big or the rural grounds with the geo tagging is available so you can see which is the ground near your school near your home or if you are traveling somewhere who are the coaches available apart than that on the fit india movement also prime minister modi gave a slogan fitness ka dose aadha ghanta roz because fitness is key honorable dr k c narayan gowda ji was saying that children today spend a lot of time on the play stations and the mobile phones i'll say that you have to give equal importance to both the play station as well as to the playground playground is very important because if you don't sweat there if you don't do any physical activity you won't be mentally that fit also because that enhances your performance if you are doing some physical activity and i'm sure with the kind of efforts made by the karnataka government to start various play playgrounds indoor stadiums at the in the rural area also with more than 500 crore rupees being sanctioned for that i think it's a great initiative by any state government my congratulations to you gowda ji and bombay ji for taking this initiative because eventually if you look at the players they coming from the rural background they have fire in their belly unki aag hoti hai kuch na kuch achieve karne ke liye so that is very important you should aspire to achieve something i could see when you call the ashwini name when she came here all of you clap for her because she has achieved something in life she was one of you who used to come these kind of playgrounds but she is at a different level today after winning medal at the international level i could see the future medalist here as well you should believe in yourself the others will believe in you if you believe in yourself apne mein vishwas rakho tab duniya aap mein vishwas rakhegi and i'm sure you will take the advantage of that i won't give a long speech but few points i still want to make that inspired by the prime minister's mantra for success long term planning and continuous commitment i am sure this institution will pave the way for many champions to thrive at the national and the international platforms further let me add that following the victories in the olympics and paralympics where we set new benchmarks in 2022 has also been a very proud year for india in sports कितने मेडल थे हमारे ओलंपिक्स में कैन एनी वन टेल मी मैं स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन के बीच में पूछ रहा हूं अभी तो इतने हैं चलो एक और पूछता हूं हाउ मेनी मेडल्स इंडिया वन दिस टाइम इन द ओलंपिक्स हाउ मेनी इन पॉरे ओलंपिक्स एंड हाउ मेनी इन डेफ ओलंपिक्स 
We won the highest medal ever this time, 7 in Olympics, 19 Paralympics, 16 Deaf Olympics and 61 in Commonwealth Games including 22 gold medals. Apart than that, in 73 years India never won the Thomas Cup. This time Indian badminton team the Thomas Cup gold medal as well. And who won the IBA Women World Boxing Championship gold medal? Nikhaz Zareen. Who are the bronze medalists? Praveen and Manisha Mohan. So I think it's also very important to tell our children who are our sports stars, who are achieving what in which games. Not only sweating here, I think we need to create a digital library or something else so that they should know from which background, at what level, what they have achieved, that is also very, very important. And I won't get into the records now, but India also ho hosted for the first time ever the World Championship with the Chess Olympiad. Bharat mein chess khelni shuru ki shatranj iska naam hota tha. And from shatranj, while going across the world, now it is known as chess, First time ever India hosted the Chess Olympiad which is the 44th FIDE Chess Olympiad and also the WADA Athlete Biological Passport Symposium 2022. We have passed our on NADA bill. Now with the advent of artificial intelligence and the virtual reality technology in sports which is also bound to change the sporting experience and enhance training for our athletes in the times ahead, I am sure the things are going to change. When I'm talking about the technology and speaking in Karnataka, next to the Manipal University campus, I'm sure many researchers will do research on various such technological equipments, softwares, like one of those has been shown here, your body movements, your postures, your health, I mean like the shots you play, what muscle you need to strengthen, everything is available today in the sports science. For each specific game there is some solution available here. I was in Patiala a few days back and I was in Sonipat a few days back. Sonipat we started the uh, 40 crore rupees sports science center, a new building. In the Patiala we inaugurated 300 beds, hostel also. This new hostel we came coming out with 300 bedded in Sonipat also. So across the country we are building infrastructure in, in Bangalore also we are creating new athletic tracks to other facilities. Let me assure Narayan Gaudaji, Shobhaji and Bhatsaab that whatever Karnataka require from the central government in the field of sports, I will assure you that Trust me, every help will be provided to the Karnataka government to promote the game of sports. I, I wanted to spend more time with the players here to know what is on their mind. What are they thinking? What are they expecting from the state government and the central government? So after this official program finishes, I'll come down to you and speak to you in person. Couple of things which I wanted to say. That apart than the budget which we have increased at the central government level or at the state government level, it is the responsibility of the society also. Because the central government, state government will invest, will create sports infrastructure. But the parents should allow and also bring children to the playgrounds. I am grateful to all the parents who are sitting here, who are spending a lot of time, energy and money on their children to make them sports persons. I will assure you that the state government and the central government will provide the best of the best facilities to your kids to perform well, to learn, get training and to bring laurels to you, your family, to the state and Udupi as well. Thank you once again for inviting me here.
but there are a couple of couple of requests made by mr bhatt one was and shobha ji also said fm station i assure you that your demand of fm station will be fulfilled as soon as possible i'll try and include that in the remaining 4 months of this financial year so that you don't have to wait for the next financial year i'll try and do it in the next 4 months so that you get your fm station to aapko agle 4 mahine mein mil jayega aur bhi kuch tha cheno india mein upgrade fm center research center as as mr naran gaur earlier said that he's opening say about six or seven such centers across the state one over eight districts which can cater to eight districts let me assure you whatever help is required as far as the sports science and the research center is concerned from the central government the sports authority of india will be in touch with the state government to help you to establish more centers and whatever funding will be required to upgrade the udupi center will enroll that with the state central government scheme so that your center is upgraded for the future as well thank you once again for inviting and being here listening patiently to us thank you jain jabari